Botswana, though it was a British protectorate and gained the right to self-govern in 1966, assisted liberation fighters to flee into exile, making the country a refuge for liberation movements such as SWAPO, ANC, MPLA, CCM, Frelimo and ZANU-PF. SWAPO party leaders, including founding president Sam Nuyoma and President Gengob all crossed into exile via Botswana as a transit. Therefore, Dr. Gengob says, BDP assuming its rightful place among the former liberation movements of Sadek region should not be second-guessed. We had to pass through Botswana. We were housed here, welcomed here. And also, after independence of Botswana, Botswana was part of the frontline states, basically. They are the, they are the ones who started frontline states. Well, says that Chikama was one of them. So already it was a thing that Botswana was helping. At the UN, where I was, the, the struggle was fought at different levels. One was the armed struggle later on, when we failed to have a peaceful resolution. So it started at the UN, it started everywhere where we were campaigning to get our justice. But at the UN, I was there where many Botswana ambassadors who were fighting there at the UN. Council for Namibia, they were members of that. So therefore, we are saying, basically, Botswana is a frontline state. Our ambassador, our brother is an Africanist. He is talking African language, he goes to African things. What more are we waiting for? That Botswana, one of the frontline states, is saying that we are playing our role. Botswana's president, who is also the BDP leader, Mohoetsi Masisi, recalls how his country bore the brunt of attacks by colonial regimes in the region. The June 14, 1985 armed attack by the apartheid South African forces against the ANC fighters is one of those where Khaborona became a battleground. Botswana not only was a sanctuary, Botswana was a fighter and a liberator. This must be understood because there are many ways to fight a war. And we chose to fight by protecting the fighters and being suave in the way we do it. Because we were circumspect of our condition and our abilities. We were weak militarily, we were poor economically, but we were resolute in our political commitment to ensure that our brethren were freed. Why would that not qualify us to be fighters? Because if the fighter is not aided, the fighter cannot fight. President Gilkob, like he said yesterday, last night, would not be here had it not been for what we provided in terms of protection and encouragement. President, uh, former President Samar Bashar, you can say the same thing about former President Nyoma, former President Ohamba. You can say the same thing about former President Mandela. You can say the same thing about many stalwarts of the struggle who found passage, comfort, support, protection, and cover in the Republic of Botswana. With its admission, the governing Botswana Democratic Party will become the seventh member of the former liberation movements with roots in the frontline states. Blanche Corres, NBC News.